Uh, the A's have a new home, guys. Kind of. They're going to be playing in Sacramento. For now, they do. <laughs> yeah, temporary. 10,000 up to 14 standing room only, I think, at the, the, the Sacramento River Cats, and they have to split it with a AAA team. Yeah, is that, I was wondering where are the River Cats going. Uh, they're nowhere. They're I said, think they're still they're staying. So there, they're I think. both playing there. They're, they're both playing there. So it's going to be an interesting schedule. I'm assuming that the A's take precedence. You imagine? You imagine. Maybe, <laughs> they'd be like, "Hey guys, we're going to need you out of the clubhouse by three o'clock." I, I feel sac- like it's got gonna, a Sacramento River Cats game. We got to get ready for. I feel like it's going to be weird for the rest of Major League Baseball when you hit them for your like one road stop there, and you're it just it's completely unlike the rest of the league. Like there are overhead shots of the stadium. It looks like a glorified high school park. I mean, it's well, not. I would like to point out that the uh, Phoenix Coyotes right now, yep, in the NHL play in an arena that seats. 4,000 people. For a club team. And a, a, the club Arizona State hockey team. And by the way, they don't fill it up. I was going to say, that's probably plenty for them. The, yeah, they do not fill it up. Well, what if the River Cats outdraw the A's? <laughs> That'd be something. <laughs> well, we, we said this they last... They start giving away free A's tickets with, with the purchase of two River Cats tickets? Yeah, they do this all... They We've done this all the time, like over the last two or three years. There are a ton of days where the A's attendance, they put it up to a bunch of, of minor league teams. In fact, I think it was last year, there were like 10 minor league games the same day as the A's around the country. And I think... N- I want to say nine of the 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 teams outdrew the the A's. So you're you're not wrong in <laughs> that joke. they they could get outdrawn. The question is, does anyone in because no one's going to the A's games? Does anyone in Sacramento go to A's games? I think there will be a large contingent of people in Sacramento who probably are baseball fans and that will enjoy it because of the novelty. But I think like diehard fans are so mad at ownership they still won't well, go. And there's there's a there's a prevailing thought out there that that Sacramento well yes Sacramento, they're trying to steal them. They're trying to steal them. The, the Sacramento yeah. Kings owner came out and spoke yeah. today at this event saying we're hoping we get three years to show the league yeah. what we can yeah. do. And because so they're going to fill that place up. There's some weird like. I, I still haven't quite figured out exactly what is happening, but there seems to be a lot of people that think that the <clears throat> A's in the in the in the Vegas thing ain't happening. Like they haven't secured any public funding yet, and they apparently don't have, or they haven't secured enough public funding yet. And it, it sounds like they're not getting the backing of like the public and the the government there, even though like some businesses are like, sure, you can come. So I mean. I don't know. Is there a chance that Sacramento... Well, and then, you know, this goes back to the, the whole Portland thing. If Major League Baseball gets so tired of Fisher's crap and they make him sell a lot of the Phoenix Suns or, or you know, old Shotzi baby in Major League Baseball, I, I don't, is, there a, is there a chance that that Portland is still in this mix and, and jumps in and swoops them? Although Sacramento, having them in Sacramento, and if you draw 14,000 fans, does, you know... Is, is that obviously a, a big well, feather in your cap? I, I tell you, for the MLB to Portland guys, for all this work that they've done, for Sacramento to come out off the top rope and get the A's, boy, what a kick to the balls that would be. Yeah. Sacramento. Because we thought all along, right? Like, well, I, I guess you, you would still be competing against. And you still got Vegas. Well, and that's the thing is that if it goes to Sacramento, are you now competing with, with yes. Salt Lake and Vegas yes. for the expansion team? Dude, you're, if Sacramento gets a team. I don't think they're going to because they, they need a stadium Portland's in that out. amount of time. Well, if Sacramento gets a team, Portland's out because then you have Vegas and, and Salt, Salt Lake, Lake City, two way better markets in Portland for baseball. But Vegas Coast. still needs to actually get on board with baseball, which hasn't happened yet. Yeah, like it, it's it's uh, it's see, just been bandied about. I don't know. I think all of this stuff that it's not a done deal. A's to mm. Vegas. Come on, they'll make it happen. There's too much money involved, right? They're already they're already blowing up the trop. I mean, it's it's. I'm guessing the A's are going to Vegas. I would. I, I think, think probably, but I think that there's like a there's a non-zero chance it doesn't happen. Maybe twenty percent. Like every time, I, like anytime someone brings it up, there's like and there's people that are in the know, like like smart writers that are like, well, you know, don't don't count your chickens. No, I, 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 no I idea. Know. Okay, so the A's are going to play in Sacramento next season in 2026 and in 2027, and then there's a an option for a fourth year if their stadium in Vegas isn't done. They're, they're trying to get it done, or hope, they're hoping to have it built by uh, the start of the 2028 season. Yeah, and Oakland was trying to put together, uh, I guess kind of, Oakland had, had put together a, a proposal for them to stay in Oakland, but 
<laughs> there was like nine poison pills in that thing that they, they were trying to get Fisher to agree to all these different things. And like, yeah, that's not happening. There have been a variety of proposals. Especially when there's more people in the uh, parking lot protesting you. Like at some point, doesn't Major League Baseball just have to say enough is enough of this crap and kick this a-hole out? Uh, No. <laughs> I don't, especially if he goes to Vegas and starts making him a bunch of money. He used to drain. Did you on see what league. he said today? What did he say? He said that he well he couldn't remember any of his players' names. No. Oh. So he was like, "Hey, I'm really excited to see uh, Aaron Judge hit home runs in Sacramento." He's oh. like, "Yeah." He said, uh, "Players like," and there's kind of a pause. <laughs> players like, well, you know, stars uh, like Aaron Judge. He, yeah. Like he couldn't name a player on his team who might do that. How? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Like that's what I'm saying. Like. <laughs> How is this dip ass allowed to continue to own this? He's got money. He doesn't have money though. Well, he must. Well, if he does, he can't spend it. He's just a drain on baseball. It's bad. This is as bad as any franchise has ever been in sports. Yes. Rob, there is a possum infestation. I know. And sewage and cats. I can deal with one rodent infestation, but stray cats and possums? I mean, I just don't know how the other owners... And by the way, he puts nothing into the coffers. He takes everything back in revenue sharing. Even if, like, you say, oh, it's it's Vegas. A new owner moving to Vegas would still be better because we still don't know if his cheap ass is going to be any better when he's in Las Vegas. He bought the team for like $180 million. He'll sell it for two, two and a half. Force his dumb ass out. What could you buy the A's for right now, do you think? I'm, I'm saying it would still probably cost you two, two and a half. Really? That crappy ass franchise? Yes, that because it's a franchise, it's a, a major franchise, league baseball. And by the which way, it's a franchise automatically makes it worth a, something. A pseudo agreement to move to Las Vegas. Yeah, this says they are uh, valued. Forbes has them valued at one point two billion. They would sell for two. Anytime those valuations, no one sells for those valuations. So make your one point seven billion dollars and go away. How much culpability does Oakland have in all of this? Oakland wants to keep them, and Oakland wants yeah, to. But come on, if you really wanted to keep them, wouldn't you have kept them by now? See, I don't. I don't. I, if it had been Is a no, because if, if this had been a normal owner, I would say yes. Oakland was willing to play ball with them. So many the times. A's were not willing to play ball with Oakland. Yeah. So Fisher has wanted to leave the whole time. The whole he time. slow play unless this? he can get a stadium Everything. entirely funded by the city, which he has been pushing and for. He He's want... one of those guys that doesn't want to pay for it himself and is trying to get as much money as he can from local government, and they don't want to give it to him because they're like, you can make plenty of money if you just invest some of your own. And he didn't even want just a ballpark. He wanted an entire development, like kind of what <laughs> waterfront type deal. Yes, he wanted what. The Portland uh, Diamond Project is doing, but he wanted Oakland to, to be on the hook for it. I mean, the, the gap in between the last pr pr proposal that Oakland had and the city, I want to say it was like 35, 35, 40 million. That's it. That was the gap. And Fisher was like, nope, nope. We're out of here hmm. because the money that if I'm and I, I may be off slightly, but the money that Vegas was offering to kick in versus what Oakland was. I want to say it was like 35 or 40 million bucks. Yeah, ba basically what it came down to is you just do you'd rather be there than here yeah. because we haven't been willing to bend over backwards for yeah. you. And I just Isn't it wild to think that guy went to Princeton and Stanford? Well, he's obviously fairly smart cuz he bought something for 180 million dollars and now it's worth but Is he though? He was smart enough to buy a crappy organization and just sit on it and he's been making money hand over fist because Major League Baseball has revenue sharing. Well, I just I think just because you're rich doesn't mean you're smart. He he was a I think he was an original partner in Gap, wasn't he? Was he? I I don't know. I don't know where Fisher made his money. I think that's was where it, he was made it his daddy's money? money? No, I think he was a partner in Gap. Mm. But so he, he he sold sensible slacks and <laughs> made a bunch of money. Is Gap still a thing for the kids? Uh well, Gap is Gap owns Old Navy and Banana Republic, and I. I think those are still. Oh yeah, dude. No, he's the he's the youngest son of the Gap founders. Oh, see, he did Jack S. Yeah, so he's like he. Yeah, yeah. He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything other than he, he won, inherited. He won it. the ball lottery, and he's tried. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's tried everything he can to screw it up. Pretty much. It's hard to screw those up, right? Like it, it really is. Do you have a franchise? I mean, it's you like can't... bankrupt in a casino. Who could do that? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, oh wait. Yeah. No, but you're right. It's like you buy something. You buy one of those, like, 
the A's are the worst franchise in all of sports. I've yes. never seen a worse franchise yep. on all levels than the A's. And that's still making him money. Oh, he'll you know? make he'll make a, a billion yeah. and a half dollars. But that think about think about how poorly he's run that thing and what it looks like. He's still making money hand over fist. Yes. It's a foolproof. Like you think casinos are foolproof. Well, Donald Trump uh, <laughs> Donald Trump proved that they are not. Uh, but uh, that's still remarkable to me. It is remarkable. Yep. But uh, sports franchises, like that's like the number one investment now. Yes, number one investment. And if it is, especially if you got in back in the day, because now, um, well, you know what though, I just saw a thing that I was reading about the Royals deal yeah. in Kansas City. You know, they're trying to get a new ballpark and all this. You know, they have a new owner, and uh, he bought that team. I just reading about him today. He bought that team for one point one billion, mm -hmm. and I thought to myself, oh my god, what a steal. Yes, I, like that is, and he bought it like three years ago. But so, it's, but it's not like it. Like in the in, whoever was smart enough to get in, like in the eighties, Donald Sterling, if I remember correctly, when Donald Sterling bought the Clippers, they were in. I think they were even in San Diego at the time. I think he bought them for like ten million bucks. Donald Sterling bought something for ten million dollars, and he sold the Clippers for two billion. And you want to talk about? He was, he was Fisher before Fisher. Because that was the worst run franchise in all of sports and ran it the same way that Fisher did, was forced to sell due to his horrible racism, and his punishment for it was two billion dollars. Ten million to two billion. So yes, but it's he was a, heartbroken over losing uh, excuse that. Excuse me, you had your facts wrong. I uh, did I? Twelve point five million. Is what he paid. It was what he paid. Think about that. So yes, that's a bargain at at one point one billion. But it ain't the Clippers. It's not. It, it's not twelve and a half million. I'm gonna do some to math two, to two bill. This is going to be probably wildly inaccurate. Yeah. Well, throw it out there and let someone. Yeah. Let somebody here. Okay. I have a math problem for you guys. You're right. That's the better way to do it. Don't let me do it. That's the way to do it. What is the okay? So if let's just say ten million. If yeah. if uh, what's his name? Sterling. Sterling. He he bought for ten million mm -hmm. and sold for two billion. Two bill. If a guy buys a team for one billion, what is, what is the equivalent <laughs> of the percentage increase? Uh, what would he have to sell it for? All right, I'll, I'll to try make to, the same percent. We'll try to do it, but have someone out there actually do it that no, knows what they're doing. No, please, let's not do it on our own. <laughs> I'm gonna try. <laughs>